Hello and welcome to another Baldur's Gate 3 episode. So last time we fought these goblins right here. Um, and I've noticed that basically, well, my character is taking quite, quite a lot of damage. Um, something that I haven't done yet is actually go to the camp. So that's what we're going to start with. So we're at the campsite right now. So I'm guessing I just have to end the day. Let's try to use that. You have enough camp supplies, restore all the hit points and spell slots if you long rest. Let's do that. I don't know if you can interact with any of these. Yes, so you can. We're resting here. Um, turning in for the night. I suppose uh, I'm I'm not really sure what I expected, really. This is all a little new. The night normally means bustling streets, bursting taverns. Curling up in the dirt and resting is um a little novel. Hmm, I think Asterion likes a few drinks. <sighs> I'm in no place to rest yet. Today has been a lot. I need some time to think things through. To process this. You sleep. I'll keep watch. The pleasure is all mine. Sweet dreams. I don't think there's anything else that we can probably do in camp. Unless I'm completely mistaken. Because we haven't unlocked or recruited any new characters other than those three, so... I guess someone's... okay. Who is out there? Okay, I guess the laser. monster forms inside us, yet you waste time with idle chatter. Do you suppose the parasites inside us dare to rest? That the Geich do not still pursue us with each peal of the bell? Take your rest. I will stand watch. Should a single tentacle split your skull, I will not hesitate to end you. She's always very kind. Supply uh, pack is more than enough, I reckon. It's giving 80. So that's that counts for four. Eight. I don't know if I should actually use these. Okay. Oh, got it. Because this is actually selecting two supply packs instead. Let's do it. Okay, what does Shadowheart have to say? Lazelle has a dangerous look in her eyes. Let's just hope she reserves those impulses for any common foes. There's no story. None that you're entitled to hear, anyway. Just forget you ever saw it. We haven't gone all that far yet. What are you referring to, exactly? I suppose we'd go our separate ways. Not a slight on your company, of course. Perhaps. Perhaps not. If we do survive, we'll have separate lives to return to. I need to get to Baldur's Gate. There's someone waiting for me there. Someone I have to reach. As soon as possible. Alright, we got a quest out of that. 
Let's just say it's a very personal, very private acquaintance. I'm not going to push any further with her. Um, I can just keep going. So, actually, I can leave camp for now. See if we can recruit anybody else. We still have three characters, so... It would be nice to have an extra pair of hands. So, let's see about the map. I'll... Okay, I think I'll go this way. You're a true soul. You can't die. Please, stay with us. I, I don't think he's conscious. C can you hear us, Ed? You, not a step closer. A strange symbol glows marked on their flesh. And something within you stirs in response. An oil bear. Please, do you have any... Shut up, Andrik. Do you serve the absolute? What is that? Wait. The injured man locks eyes with you. A familiar squirming churns in your head. Your minds intertwine. You see his siblings, Andrik and Brenna. New recruits. Yours to shepherd. Protect them. He is a true soul. Mind him. He will. He. He. Edwin! Ed! Please! He's with the Absolute now. You're... You're a true soul. Edwin, our brother. He was chosen. Like you. Do you have orders for us? We were reporting to Edwin. What? Are you... Are you testing us? A true soul, like you, has been chosen by the Absolute. You speak with her voice. Your words are her command. She grants you the power to enforce her will. And when the time comes, the true souls, you, will rule. Please. Any supposed new god would have an uphill battle. Mm hmm we know that all too well, sir, but the Absolute sent us here. We're looking for fugitives, survivors from that ship that crashed farther west of here. What? It killed one of us. It killed Edwin. It's an enemy of the Absolute. You're right, sir. The beast must be destroyed. The cave is just ahead. It was too much for us before, but... But if you could help us, True Soul, we may stand a chance. I just about... I'm not getting them Soul. killed. <laughs> Absolute? What did they mean? Strange power resonates within the corpse. It calls to you. its host's memories go to waste. The tadpole has absorbed it all. Its experience could nourish you, strengthen you. Well, let's see what we can do here. Your muscles loosen. The tadpole breaks free of its deceased host. 
your mind as you are on again. Oh, there's a lot of loot. Let's take all of that. Thank you very much. Let's see if I can jump up here. Oh, there's a ladder. Okay. Oh, that's a nice chest to loot as well. Let's go. I wonder if you can actually cook stuff using the bonfire. Something over there. At the back of the crevice lies a bag enfolded in a chitinous, grovelling of spiders. A shiny gold coin pokes from its mouth. Oh, that's intelligence. Oh, that's not good. The creatures clutch the pouch possessively. Is gold so precious to spiders? Oh, that's a 15. <laughs> that's not going to be easy then. Oh, another bad roll. about more nervous than before oh well, let's keep going see if we get lucky this time and not really that's unfortunate pincers pierce your flesh and shoots up your arm and across your back Great. At the back of the crevice lies a bag enfolded in the chitinous squabbling of spiders. A shiny gold coin pokes from its mouth. Let's try again. There you go. The spiders scatter and you stash the bag. Something clinks among the coins. I shall go through the gate. Oh. There you go. here you fool we was running for our lives you led them straight to us and you let them take the druid too unbelievable tell that to the dead at the gate shut it horns i be like <laughs> the shut it horns if you stalled any longer my duty is to this camp. Oh, God forbid you risk your precious tail. But I shouldn't be surprised. Foulbloods ain't known for courage. 
You see the tiefling's jaw clench. He's about to erupt. Okay, let's try to defuse the situation. Ah, I got another bad roll. With a thunk, the armored man collapses, unconscious. Enough. The goblins have found us. No doubt the beasts will be back. We need to pack up and leave. Immediately! Bigger fighting goblins as they did each other for once. Let's try to avoid any more punching. We need to find a healer. Well, that's not very fitting for a martial artist. Try to talk to the squirrel. at your foot and bites it. You follow the squirrel's gaze to a pair of clumsy, ugly feet. Your own on her territory. Looking around, her territory extends from one end of the grove to another. She studies you for a moment before twitching her ears. Compromise. After a final squeak of warning, break the rules and there will be trouble, she scurries away. Okay, what was this? Hyena, yeah. Okay. At least we got something out of that. Survival failed. That might be worth a look. No hope of clearing this without a shovel. Oh, I need to find a shovel then. There's like an enemy up there. So I need to find the shovel. We could say a prayer. We should have time for that. Yeah. Yeah. That would be good. Well, I hope this is not gonna. You're being arrested for theft. Yeah. Exactly. Defense, make it now. Oh God! <laughs> I wasn't expecting this. Ah, uh, that sucks. Okay, let's go to prison. Let's see what happens. Gonna be soaring every last one. If you want your freedom back, you'll have to break out of your prison cell. That's great. Ah. Uh. What the hell was that? This just keeps getting better and better. Can I use any of the other characters? We... We could say a prayer. We should have time for that. Yeah. Yeah. Not now. Have some respect. This really isn't the time to talk. 
All right, so I could use the other characters to break me out of prison. Wherever that is. I wasn't expecting to be in so much trouble. Now that's settled. Thank you for your help out there. I'm Zevlor. A druid's grove dedicated to the Oak Father Sylvanus. You'll find its keepers just as thorny, I fear. Whatever your business, I'd see to it quickly. The druids are forcing everyone out. This attack will only strengthen their resolve. There have been several attacks by different monsters. The druids blame us outsiders for drawing them here. Nobody's welcome anymore. They've started a ritual to cut the grove off from the world outside. We can't stay, but we'll be slaughtered if we leave. We're no fighters. I've tried. Korga, their new first druid, won't even see me. You, though? I know it's not your business, but she owes you for saving this place. Perhaps you could persuade her for more time to prepare, if nothing else. Goblin got you. The druid Halsin's a renowned healer, but he didn't make it back from Aradin's expedition. If it's not too serious, you could try his apprentice, Netty. She's with the other druids in the inner grove. They've withdrawn there to prepare this damn ritual. We've no time to offer aid to every whimpering pup. We'd owe you a great debt. If we're forced to leave now, we won't make it to the city. You'll find the druids at the heart of the grove. Please, make them see sense before more lives are lost. I'm actually wondering how long it's going to take for these to start fighting. All right, let's see if the prison's somewhere um, here. Oh, you go found it. You ain't gonna shoot me. Your hands are shaking. Put it down. She can't fight back. That's the point. Get out of the way. She didn't kill your brother, Arca. You're better than this. Shoot before you lose your nerve, Tiefling. If you ever had it to begin with. Looks like the Absolute sent me a protector. You gonna kill her too? <laughs> you, move! Oh, she's not very good with charisma. Oh, let's take it a chance. That worked out. Okay. You're right. I wish you weren't. I really do. Damn you. Damn it! Why do you care if a goblin lives or dies? If you believe anything the beast tells you, you're an idiot. It's all right, Arca. Let's go. I'm gonna buy the egg. There's no way to talk to her. Okay. Prison's locked. Is there a way that we can? Let me out, you bunch of softies! Don't have any thieves' tools available, really. You're gonna be sorry, every last one of you. Interesting. 
Yeah, I just lost the wares. I mean, they have to be somewhere. Whips and blades always sharp. Ow. Yeah, this is our stuff. Great. So Shadowheart has all the equipment now. Can't reach. Don't know if I can transfer it. Let's see. What if I switch to him? No, never mind. All right, let's try that. That worked out. Sweet. Okay, we are grouped now. I mean, Shadowheart can keep the wares, that's fine. Been noticed outside of your cell. You'll need to deal with this the easy way or the very painful way. Not out of trouble yet. Oh no. Your words counted for nothing. You're headed back to your cell. Not again. Hmm. Are you joking? Let's get on with it. I mean, how many times do I need to lockpick this door? Yeah, not many times I'm gonna fail doing it. I think I only have another lockpick. This is not good. Let's try again. Oh. No. I told you. No. Not okay. now. He doesn't want to talk, though. What to bring? All right. That's quite the tricky situation. Having fun with your new goblin friend. Bet you aren't. Maybe if we release that goblin. She could act as a decoy. What you messing with my cage for? It's too late to make friends walk me. My tribe's coming. They're gonna burn this pretty place for the glory of the absolute and hang you by your guts. They'll peel your face off and nail it to a wall. I ain't scared of some god. Stick a dozen arrows in me and priestess god still patch me up. Got a whole lab set up, cooks up potions that fix our lads, no matter how much of a beating they take. Could probably stick your head back on if someone was to chop it off. <laughs> Mighty booyog. Bah! A clever goblin's like a trustworthy gig, a figment of the imagination. Get me out of here, and I'll tell you where to find her. Deal? Then hurry up and do it. My tribe ain't as friendly as I am. You're gonna be... One of you! Another thing that I could try to find is a key. Surely someone has a key for these doors. So I just need to figure out the way of getting it cleanly. I 
told you. Guess if this guy has it. Uh, it isn't the talk of the camp. Thank goodness you came along when you. Oh, there isn't a bit of color in those cheeks, Petal. Are you harsh, cold, feverish? Auntie Ethel will sort you out. I've lotions and potions galore. Aha! You take a sip of that and you'll feel right as rain, sweetie. Oh, it is just a healing potion. Nothing fancy. Here. You just look like you might need a pick-me-up. I'm sorry to go on about it, but are you all right? You're looking awful peaky. Oh, I've seen it all. I once had a fella who'd been caught dabbling with a dryad. The wife was none too pleased and introduced him to a pot of boiling oil. But worry not. I fixed him up. And depending on the lighting, he looks good as new. My point is, whatever ails you, I promise I've seen worse. She is not to know of the... our ailment. Only a gith healer may make us pure. What is it, Petal? What's wrong? Don't get your knickers in a twist. I mean, if she could heal us, that would be way too easy. I have a few odds and ends for sale. Nay, bother, love. Come back any time. Go on. Give me a best shot. Not bad. Again. You? Umi, I don't need you to be like me. You just have to buy enough time to run. Come on. I believe in you. You can do this. Hmm. <laughs> You're on the right path, Umi. Go on now. Practice what you've learned. Well met. The Blade of Frontiers at your... The man's smile bends downward, and his thoughts become yours. You are the Blade of Frontiers, racing through the wastes of Avernus. Just ahead, a diabolical figure, red skin, single curled horn, blazes with flame, bloodied great axe hell. <sighs> Hell's great fires. You were on the ship. Doomed to shed our skin and become a lithid, or so the stories go. But we haven't sprouted any tentacles. Not yet, anyway. Could just be good luck. I'm not so. Your minds collide once more. Will chases the fiend ignited with rancor. She is an infernal war devil. A threat to the living. Evil incarnate. Shit! <sighs> you saw her. Advocatus Diaboli. Advocatus Diaboli. A devil's advocate. A champion in the blood war between diabolical forces and demons. Her name is Karlak. An archdevil soldier I swore on my good eye to kill. I tracked her through the hells to the Mind Flayer ship. But the damned Elithids infected me before I could end her. She's out there now. Preying on the innocent. I don't kill her, she'll leave behind nothing but a trail of corpses. Just so you know, my first duty is Karlak. I'm oath-bound to go after her. But I won't deny this infection is bothersome. I accept your invitation. I'll need to talk to your leader if you want to partner up, though. Still, when the time comes, call for the blade. I won't be long to answer. 
Oh, that's brilliant. So, need my character to recruit him. Ah, how am I going to get out of prison? show you something go on take this ring it's lucky you haven't seen anything yet lady go on take the ring and watch your fortune change that sounds like an interesting choice don't need extra luck but since you're already holding the thing call it heads or tails tails it is see that's the kind of luck you get from one of my lucky rings I've got more where that came from real cheat too interested You got it. One sec. That's what I got. Oh, he's got some tools. All right. It's quite expensive, though. See if I can exchange it with something. Don't see anything else. Okay. Let's you bought some you suddenly feel something Let's take that gamble. against your back and turn. I can't do this anymore, Mattis. I'm sorry. What the hell was that? Oh, we've leveled up as well. I'm ready. Whatever it takes. Alright, let's see what we can get out of here. Oh, this is really powerful. I think I'll still keep... Yeah, healing ward is pretty good. Guiding bolts. I did like that when I used it. Take 
shield of faith as well. Superiority dies. So I need to make a choice here. Battle Master, Eldritch Knight, Champion. Tactical Superiority, okay. Gains three passives. I think Battle Master is more interesting. I'll pick distracting strike and yeah I think these debuff so debuff the target so I guess I'll take these triple a creature's jumping distance wow that's pretty good. Alright, let's level up our character. Looking ahead. Additional key point, that's always useful. The flag missiles. While not in combat, regain half your key points. Hmm. That's pretty good. Oh, so get to pick the subclass. Way of the four elements. That's not the thematic that I want to go with. Way of the open hand. Specialising in unarmed combat using your hands and your control. Yep, that sounds like it. Stealth, nope. I'll go with Way of the Open Hand. Since that fits the theme. I'll also take the bonus HP, that's actually pretty good. Just out of view. Alright, let's try to lockpick again. And ah, oh, just one short. Oh my god, this is so bad. So, just wasted 59 gold on a failed roll. It can't get worse than this, can it? This is about your precious borders. Gate. This place is a bloody death trap, not a sanctuary. You should clear off while you can. About your stupid apprenticeship. This is no take that back. Right now. Pels, we can't just leave. They're kin. I'll not gamble our lives, our futures, on people who are as good as dead. We must leave for Baldur's Gate at once. Can we all just take a moment, please? What's the point in blades and spells if we don't bloody use them? We should stay. These people aren't fighters. We can help. Or yell louder. That's fine too. Let's go with that. I need to stop using her for these rolls, really, because her charisma is not good. No. This place is a death trap. Let us leave. Immediately. Or would you deny your brother here his chance at fortune in Baldur's Gate? But it is nevertheless true. We've risked everything to get this far. We can't afford to throw it all away. Uh, fine. 
Let's sneak away like God's damned cowards. But if something happens to these people, it's on us. I hope you know that. All right, let's end the episode here. I wasn't expecting to get to get jailed, but well, it is what it is, and I've spent too many lockpicks already trying to get out. So I'm sure there's a way of of getting out of prison uh, cleanly. But well, we'll see that on the on the next episode. So if you enjoyed this, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell icon for notifications on the next one. So thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.